Welcome back to Mark Holobus, the vlog everyone. Thanks for joining in again today. Today we have the F-Type R again here. Now that I've had the car for about a month, what are my favorite features? There's things that probably stand out as really great things and some things that, you know, maybe aren't so great about it. And I can tell you honestly, there's good and bad in this car. I can certainly say the negatives are very, very minute and minor by very nature. So it's really not a big deal, but the cool features are just that they're very, very cool. And I want to share with you some of my favorite features or things about this car now that I really think are awesome. And I think you'll probably agree as well. So let's take a look at some of the features that I find really, really great on this car right off the get go. Now that having owned the car for about a month, some of it was obvious at up front, but some of this stuff has grown on me. So let's take a look here. Firstly at the wheels, we have the carbon fiber blades on each leg of the star here of the rims. Of course you see the full carbon fiber, high gloss, very, very nice to look at. I would say it's just a little extra attention to detail, but the problem with these wheels likely is they won't put up well with winter weather here. Of course, we get a lot of grime and salt and sand. So if I decide to drive this car in the winter, and that is my full intentions at some point, we're probably gonna have to upgrade and get some winter tires. I'd really hate to subject these wheels to salt and grime and all that nastiness. So let's narrow in on some of the more specific features of the car. Okay, we've got the key fob here. And just by hitting the unlock button right there, you'll notice the door handle pops out and the mirrors jut out. That's kind of a cool feature. Hit that. That's cool. It just makes it look clean when the car is parked. Of course, everything tucks away just neatly. I'm sure you can disable that and we'll let you know in due time. But that's one of the great features. Here, let's look at another one. Now, if we talk about the trunk, the trunk is another cool one, of course. Lots of cars have that now, of course. You can use the key fob, or you can go up and touch it underneath. You get the soft touch controls. There's a lot of cars that have it. Regardless, it is a cool feature. And right there. But I'm gonna show you another really, really cool feature. Now that the car is unlocked, let's go in there. Now let's pop the hood, which is found down here. And wait for it guys, wait for it. You're gonna love this. This is one of the greatest parts of this car right here. <laughs> I mean, what's not to like about that look? What an absolutely spectacular car. But the really cool hood is part of it. But what's underneath the hood is really the magic. And that is here, the supercharged five liter V8 here tucked away under this hood that puts out about 550 horsepower and has a ton of great sounds that come out of this, particularly on the exhaust side. Now, if you look around here, it's obviously a very, very packed compartment. And we'll get to that. That'll be on some other discussions as we get down the road. You'll notice here, there's absolutely no place for a dipstick. There's no room. We've got the filler, but there's no dipstick in this car. And we'll talk about that in another vlog, but for now, I just wanted to show you the heart of this beast, and there it is, the five liter supercharged V8. So let's take a look around here, and I'll show you another perspective that I just love about this car. Now this is part of the obvious, this is why I bought the car in the first place, and it's that rear end of that car. I mean, look at that, the ass of that car, it's just spectacular, it's just a die for. Of course you got the narrow cab there and then if you look here you know on each corner you have the it flares out it bubbles out just nicely it gives it a real muscular look i mean there really aren't too many cars anymore that have these sort of flare and extra angles and all kinds of goodness that you see here like sexy flares that you find in these cars and aston martins also have a similar look with the flare here being that these are heavily based on the aston martin vantage you also get a bit of a flare up front here on the front fender there's a lot of sexy sculptured look to this car. And if you really want to know what are the main features that I love about the car, well, it's obvious the styling is one of the main ones of this car. That's a great component. So another great feature that I love about this car, and I'm sure you'll agree, is all of the badging that tells you what a special car this is. There's lots of badging to tell you it's a Jaguar as well as the F-Type. You've got F-Type, you've got R, you've got Jaguar right here. You've got Jaguar here with the little kitty. You've got Jaguar tucked along there. Pop this up. You even have Jaguar on the window, on the glass right there. You've got R right there. It tells you you're driving something very, very special. 
You've got Jaguar on the floor mats. You've got Jaguar even on these little vents right here, the vent levers, you have Jaguar imprinted on there as well. How about over here below the headrest, you've got Jaguar imprinted as well on there and you've got R embossed on the headrest. Makes it very clear you're driving a really, really special car. Moving right along, you see Jaguar as well right there. You see Jaguar on the headlights. You see more Jaguar kitty right there on the front and of course the infamous R badging as well. And we work our way around. Again, Jag on this other little window at the back here. And then we have the R again here on the plate on the sill. Let's not forget about the big kitty on the center of the steering wheel as well as the R in the center of the gauge cluster and the R that you'll find it there as well by default. And you've got the beautiful little R badge right down here at the bottom of the steering wheel. So a million different places to remind you that you're driving something really unique. So another thing I love about this car is the fit and finish and the overall quality. Some people are gonna argue, oh yeah, this my BMW has a nicer finish here or my AMG has a better interior overall. There are a few little cheap parts within, but the vast majority of the finishing in this car is top shelf. Here, take a look. How about these great little loops here for the seat belt? That looks top shelf, no less. This cutout, thin back seat, this looks really, really sporty, no doubt about it. You've got leather interior abound. The entire interior is full of leather. You've got leather across the dash, leather steering wheel. You've got leather all over, leather here. Everything to the touch is very, very premium feeling. It's wonderful. You've also got some great brushed aluminum. You'll find this trim around like that. How about even the paddle shifters right here? You find them also in a wonderful brushed aluminum finish. They are absolutely beautiful right there like that. As well, you've got every little button has a nice touch to it. You've got the tilt and telescopic right here, looks sharp. Everything has a nice little chrome look to it. Just has that brushed aluminum everywhere. You have it here around the vents. You have it here around the steering wheel, all the way around. You've got parts of it down here in the console. You've got all this nice little touches of aluminum or brushed aluminum throughout, even on the floor mats and the door sills. So just an overall very high quality feel with lots of leather and, gr and brushed aluminum. I just love that, it just makes you feel good. Get the aroma of the leather interior. It's just a wonderful place to be, a nice little cove. And then I've got these other great features, one of which I'm gonna show you now and the other one's gonna follow right away. So here you've got this app. All you have to do is you press start, hit okay, and then I've gotta type in my code, which I'll do right now. I won't show you what that is going to tell you it's going to start and we'll show you that. How do you like that? I love that. Now what's not to like about that? That never ever gets old. I love those cold starts on these cars. They sound just raspy and aggressive. Yeah you wait and I'll show you the next thing that I love about this car. Let's go for a ride. And another pretty cool feature, I'm not gonna lie, is this pop-up vent. If you're not using the HVAC system, this thing will tuck away, and if it's on, of course, it'll pop up. And you'll notice it also has the Jaguar logo as well on each one of these little controls. Now, because I started the car remotely, it was almost like a remote start, you need to hit the brake, and then it kicks it back on, and as soon as I do that, I know the HVAC will shut down. So I'll hit that, and you'll see this go back closed. There we go. Now another wonderful feature that I really like about this particular car, now I'm not gonna snuff at any of them. They're all great in their own way, but as a base roof that you get in the base F-Type, you get a painted roof. So it's just straight up painted. You get this roof, which is a wide glass roof. I peel that back, and now you have this open air sky here that you can just see lets in a ton of light it's a beautiful thing and the third option is a full carbon fiber roof up there but this one here is sort of the intermediate with the glass roof it's wonderful it lets in a boatload of light and it really makes this whole experience feel very airy so i really actually like that very much i'd be also okay with the carbon fiber roof i was really looking for one or the other with either a glass roof or carbon fiber roof either way would have been a great option. So that's another thing I love about this car. How about another great feature? Have you ever seen sun visors like this? Right there, look at these little guys. Wow, is that ever adorable. Such a cute little sun visor. 
just an, a cool little thing like that, it is pretty wild looking. That literally must be one of the smallest sun visors ever made. Look at that. Let's just flip that up and you've got the same thing over there. So what kind of favorite features talk about the F-Type R would it be if you didn't talk about the obvious? And that's the big elephant in the room and we're talking about the exhaust sounds. Now you just hit this little button right here and that opens up the exhaust baffles. Take a listen. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Love it. So you can do that either just by doing the exhaust baffles. So you got that little button I just showed you. Or you can activate the dynamic mode by pulling down on this. And when you do that, you still get that same loud, crazy exhaust sound, but it also speeds up your shift speeds, makes everything a little bit more aggressive and intense. You also get the gauge cluster turns to red, so it looks a lot more aggressive as well, particularly at night. You'll notice it not so much during the day, but if you're ripping around at nighttime, throw your dynamic mode in there, it'll sure to be a treat. And then what else is there but crazy exhaust sounds and blistering acceleration? Now here we are with this dirty, dirty exhaust sound. So let's give you a stationary rev of the exhaust, just a quick couple of blips. Because after all, with an F-Type R, what would a video be without some exhaust sounds? Let's go. And here's another little cool trick that you can do with this car, check it out. So how do you like that? There's yet another thing that I love about these F-Type Jags and that they're not full of overly done up electronics. You don't have the digital dashes. You don't have all the massive 16 inch display that you can fiddle around with like one giant iPad. You don't have an overly done amount of technology. What you do have is crazy sounds, crazy acceleration and a handling package that counters anything pretty much from the Porsche brand. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video today, today's vlog. I just wanna share with you again, after about a month, some of the things that I thought really stand out to me, which is a lot. The car is so great in so many ways, I just couldn't help but keep rambling on and on. So be sure, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notifications bell, because guess what guys, we're building the channel. The more we have, the more we can deliver. And I can't wait to see what the future has for this channel. Hope to see you real soon, bye-bye.